Hi, Pastor Bill, Bethel Lutheran Church in Green Valley. And today is a bit of a special day. It is Thursday, May 13th. It's also Ascension Thursday. Today is the day of the Ascension of Jesus. And uh, it's really a holy day that uh, often gets neglected. Um, but it is an important day in the season of the church. Please pray with me. Lord, we do commemorate this special day, the day of ascension, along with the many things you did here on earth. We thank you for giving us the divine commission to share the good news and to walk in your power. It is in Jesus' name that we pray. Amen. Our reading for today is from Luke, the 24th chapter, verses 44 through 53. Jesus said to them, This is what I told you while I was still with you. Everything must be fulfilled that is written about me in the law of Moses, the prophets, and the Psalms. Then he opened their minds so they could understand the scriptures. He told them, This is what is written. The Messiah will suffer and rise from the dead on the third day, and repentance for the forgiveness of sins will be preached in his name to all nations, beginning at Jerusalem. You are witnesses of these things. I am going to send you what my Father has promised. But stay in the city until you have been clothed with power from on high. And when he had led them out to the vicinity of Bethany, he lifted up his hands and blessed them. While he was blessing them, he left them, and was taken up into heaven. Then they worshipped him and returned to Jerusalem with great joy, and they stayed continually at the temple, praising God. Here ends our reading. You know, there are two points, two very major points about the celebration of Ascension that are so important. The first is to understand the connection of the Son the Father, the Son, the, the connection that Jesus has with the Creator, the fact that He is returning. This is very important in the understanding of our faith. The second major point is very important also. It's the fact that the disciples, well, it seems at first that they're left behind, but it's now that the work really begins. Jesus has left them, but he has left them with a great promise and a great message. It's now up to them. No longer would they be going village to village with Jesus at their side and with letting him do all the talking, performing miracles, doing wonderful signs and drawing crowds to him and to the disciples. Now, it would be on the disciples' shoulders. The Spirit would be working through them to continue to spread the gospel which Jesus had. An incredible responsibility when you think about it. It's the same one which we have today. Through our baptism, we are committed and we are commissioned to be on the job for that same reason. May God always inspire you to do just the same, sharing Jesus' love. Amen. Please pray with me. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. May God always inspire you to greater things. May you be clothed in his majesty to serve him always.